Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo. Lakad mo. Lakad mo. A lot of ways of getting information in fights and trying to catch people. Uh, and obviously the roar and additional it is. Um, it can be ags, but oh, this could be first blood. Yep, Sticky Bomb comes out, but the Split Earth connects onto save. He's going to continue to try to run away here, but he's getting completely blocked by Toronto Tokyo. First blood to GPK, and that is, I guess our uh, question has been answered. It definitely has. I'm learning something new here. This is not something I commonly see. As GPK kind of run into solo, owning it up in the mid lane, he's trying to take out the tombstone, but it's going to get denied instead. Forces the TP. Well, I guess it doesn't really force it because he oh, wanted TP back in the mid lane. Yep, there's the setup for the split earth, and that is the death of Storm Spirit. He has to make the walk of shame. Solo's next. Double kill for oh, save of boy. all heroes. This is really not good for him. He was six there, and this would have been completely different. Yep, now the cog's gonna is get Techie well. stuck inside, and the disarm's not gonna help now you against Solo's all this magic damage. Die. This is a this feeding is frenzy from Hellraisers. Tragic. Yep, this oh is gonna boy. be the fourth kill, maybe fifth in a row. Double kill for GPK, and the tower is gonna go down next as well. Just the one more right click will do it, and I was expecting one from potentially Bet Boom. You see the scan come out, so they know that this is happening. And GPK doesn't seem to care though. Goes right in with the Pulse Nova, and nice this looks gust. to be an easy kill for Hellraisers. He was not expecting that that was going to be a four man smoke. That was very clear. Like, Save was there for the protection on the rune, and he thought, okay, maybe I'm getting jumped by Storm plus one. But yeah, with four of them there and that great gust, that is not happening. Okay, Solo is going to town. <laughs> he, here. he wants this. He gets got it. Him. All right, Level from downtown. Okay, pretty good. Just remember, that's a quote verbatim. I really, I really still think that you should have gone into journalism instead of Dota. It would have been perfect. Throttle Tokyo is dead. That's four heroes. Make it five from Hellraisers actually coming to the mid lane. Big rotation. I better get some damage on this tower. <laughs> I don't, I don't enjoy writing though, so that's kind of an issue. Now you could be a sideline reporter then, asking all the cutting edge questions. Yeah, that sounds good. Now, oh, save's gonna get spotted, and he will swiftly be killed. Oh, delayed a little bit. So, Kiyotaka with 2-1-1 oh, one, one now. Mid I mean, this is a pretty good sequence here from Hellraisers. It will be denied now by Pure, but that was a full HP tower that they managed to take down with that one play. Solo Nightfall. Tombstone, get vision on Nightfall. Yeah, gets off the roar to try to run away from a defensive standpoint. GPK gets up the split earth. Looks like he wants to fight with a newly picked up Bloodstone. But there's a lot of zombies following him right now. He's going to get Electric Vortex in. Solo's just going to die passively, but it's going to be a trade that Hellraisers will take. The second death for GPK. Yeah, he thought he was going to be... That boom again. So... So hard to play against the Beastmaster with all this vision. The hook shot, okay, it comes in. Can they get the stun lock onto the Storm Spirit? No, he roared a creep, I believe. That is unfortunate for Nightfall. He's gonna get completely surrounded now. Attempting to TP out in the midst of things, he's gonna get out. How is that even possible? Amazing. In glimmer. the end, Hellraisers lose two. Toronto, Tokyo might be the sacrifice for Bet Boom, but. My goodness. Save as well, potentially. Oh my god! Alright, that is a lot of damage for save with those How Shadow Poison in the stacks. World is that the outcome? Extra HP, but he's stuck inside the cogs. Does get his tombstone down as Kiyotaka jumps and gets the electric vortex and the black hole onto the lash with no All right, agents the agents anymore. Expires. 50 seconds on the deck for GPK. Oh. Now Hellraiser is going to chase out the rest of Bet Boom as they get a nice two for Nada. That was just straight up terrible timing. With that age is running out and they're going to be for Nada. More. Shadow Demon going to die. And although Bet Boom were in a good position, this fight has to go well for them. They they're are scanned out. They're smoking without Black Hole. They're choosing yeah, this GPK fight. Yeah, GPK trying to bait it. Has the BKB at his ready. We'll pop it initially. Double stun now on the back line. There comes the blast off from Amperes. He ends up taking out the Shadow Demon in turn. Nightfall, he already used his BKB trying to chase the techies, but he's completely out of mana. So not the most useful kill in the end. But 
They can't even get that. It's a two for nothing right now. Storm continuing on his rampage. Nightfall, just gonna TP out in the midst of things. GPK, he's gonna try to TP out. Will he be so lucky? He will. So only two supports dead, but both on the side of Bet Boom. Yep. No pun intended, I'm assuming. He ball, ball storming. He's blue balling out there. Is that what you're trying to okay, say, Cinderin? No. Uh, the Just jump in. <laughs> Oh, nice hook shot onto the creeps to get out of dodge, and Storm's completely out of mana, but he has this regen running right now. They're going to lose the Shadow Demon to start things out. All right, Techie's missed every spell, but got vision, and that's what matters. Yeah, Toronto, Tokyo's dead. Regen still going, by the way. Pure 2. Focusing onto okay. Pure. There's a Malefice into the multi-shot black hole. Double kill for Yuragi, a 3. He is. <laughs> Another pick here. This storm with gem can just terrorize these supports all across the map. If they ever show, they can just die. He has so much safety in making these moves because of the limited catch of the enemy team. He's just gonna see the clockwork, kill the clockwork. See the SD, kill the SD. And he can almost afford the full sheep stick already. That oh is gonna be the reveal of the sheep stick as well. Toronto Tokyo has to hook shot defensively as the wards continue to get he warded here in Hellraiser's favor. And they just regain complete control of the area now. So that was the one opening that that boom felt like they had and it got shut down. And now Kiyotaka in a really good oh position here. Boy. They see oh, them all for the- oh, That was such a good black hole! He's warded and destroyed! So no Enigma for this fight. They lose their support right off the bat. And now Kiyotaka can go ham. Aegis is up in 25 seconds as GPK pops the BKB. And TP's away. What the hell was that stun out of GPK? Gave the opening for Storm to start Toronto, to take over the Tokyo, game. Tokyo, trying Toronto. to bait a fight, but he's just gonna die. Freely caught there by the Hex of Storm. And tower about a half HP now. All Bet Boom can do here is just spam it out. Eventually they're gonna have to try to go in. There's the blank BKB from Miero, Black Hole, but... But the roar comes out. They're not able to take out the Bloodseeker quite yet, but finally do so in the end. And Kiyotaka just dealing massive amount of damage. There's a second black hole thanks to the Refresher Shard. GPK takes a tumble. GG's are called. And Bedboom in a very precarious spot. Hellraiser's getting a very much needed win to try to stay alive in these groups. But Bedboom's yeah, this... starting to fall a bit. This is Puck. We've seen that before. Yeah. Even if he would lose his lane, he would somehow come back and still have a huge impact. Top lane. I will on say Terrace. this. Okay. On Getting chased. Toronto, fine. Tokyo. Fairy fire. fire. Trying to deny himself on the mud golem. He's not but fine at all. Toronto, Tokyo. Non-stop. Nightfall has almost used his raindrop now already. So that's that costs him about four and a half CS to buy, right? Mm -hmm. Out of his 13. Now, there it was again. When this is out, what do you do? Do you buy a new one? Like, oh my. GPK. Ends up dropping in the mid lane to Kiyotaka. So, big, big kill for him, despite being down in XP, is now ahead in the lane. Oh, when Toronto Tokyo could have been next here. Yep, Sticky Bomb is applied. Nice reflection coming out, but Toronto Tokyo will fall in the end one way or the other. Miera gets the last hit there. Here, he's gonna take some more magic damage. Actually dodges the sticky bomb this time. Proof to anything that I've yep, been saying. So you in a nutshell. Yep. It's all clickbait. Yep. <laughs> you have specialized in that. Toronto Tokyo is in big trouble. Top is going to get silent or it's going to get slowed by the sticky bomb. Malefist and he is dead. Easy kill there for Antares yep. and Mira. Three one advantage. Yeah, so Pure has retreated to the jungle, which I think kind of makes sense for Terrorblade to do in this spot. Like, sure, you have the raindrop, but this top lane is actually very dangerous for you now, and Silencer doesn't offer you much in the way of protection, so I think it's okay for Pure to just get in here. Oh, bot lane. Nightfall is dead as well, so Kiyotaka pretty much still has that black hole ready if they go any further. And even on Terrace looks to be potentially final, The GPK does have Illusory Orb now. Sticks and raindrop. We'll be using it. Be Kiyotaka gets the kill on Terror Blade. What? How did that happen? This is quite the dive. Kiyotaka got a little bit out of line there, bottom. He might get out with the skin of his teeth, though. He will get coiled. 
Yep, just barely. Oh, they're GPK. gonna be able to get a support kill. GPK, whoa, 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 whoa. very whoa. cocky again. GPK with the illusory orb. One more right click will do it. Doesn't even need that. Only the techies oh, is there. God. Two dead for Bet Boom. Big turnaround for Hell. The Otaka and company. Okay, waiting for it to start things out from here. But there's the black hole. Instant cancel. But now GPK has nowhere to go, and he is brought down to his knees. Although Puck doesn't have any, as far as I know. 5k cool lead play. for Hellraisers, and they can continue down to the tier 2. It's actually really cool there that Miro black holes, because he knows he's going to force global, but Antares was already mid-blast off, so they get the global trade off there, and then they land a silence on Puck, so he can't get out. Now they're going to claim this tower, unless... I mean, Bedroom's seriously considering this? They're fighting into Ages they without their the Puck. The Exorcism, they're going to take out the Undying pretty quickly. Okay. And Yoragi and company are going to get backed off, so tier 2 survives. That's a pretty expensive hold. They used X. All right. Phase shift. Nightfall. TP's out. TPK is going to get punched. Illusory orb. Going to get blocked slightly by the shards. Coil being used again defensively. He's going to run right into a bunch of enemies, but oh, good he ends timing. up dodging the blast off. Nicely done. But the Malefice is there, and the adaptive stripe from Yuragi finishes him in style. Cool. Really good read on the game that he didn't need to buy any damage or any like immediate impact. But they were doing well enough that he could just be greedy. Top lane. Oh, top lane. We're going to see the Avatos. The first bad, time we've yeah. seen that. I think the entire game, literally. Am I wrong? Check the scoreboard. When was their last kill? Their last hero kill was... It's going to cost them saves life. Yuragi turns into Tiny because he hasn't used his ult in a while. Miro gets the, the actual last hit, though. So one for one. And now to focus onto the barracks. Ragi silenced up, but gonna get the Ranger Axe pretty easily. Now, they, do they commit for the melee? Indeed, they do. Nightfall taking out his exorcism. That's off the silence. Oh, Kyotoka wants to try to go for pure right now. Gets punched in the edge, half HP, looking for a Sunder target, but the BKB oh, is there. The he gets silenced right off the bat. 45 seconds of no TB. And Bet oh. Boom might be the beginning of the end for them here, but Save gets a nice Avatar. They're going to be able to get the Techie, so it's a one for one. See if they try to. Oh, the Snowball comes out to mitigate a little bit of damage here. So they'll continue to get pursued by GPK. Eon Disc is procced on him. Has to go such a defensive build this game. Techies has two utility items with Glimmer and Yules. Oh, and bad boom. They want to go for Yuraga. They toss him out of the coil. Will he die here? Gets off the BKB. Wave forms away. They only get him to half health. Now they can try to reset now that the meta has been popped along with the X. So GPK stuck in the corner here. They have the vision thanks to this ward. Nice double decay. Beautiful stun from Antares. But now the focus is on pure. Get the BKB off. So no Sunder target again. And Toronto Tokyo looks to be next as GG is called. Hellraisers 2-0 Bet Boom. Did not think that was going to happen. And they did it.